everyone and welcome back to Art a la carte. The drawing I'm going to use in this episode I'm actually going to use in two different episodes. This first video is going to show you how to draw a wolf running straight at you and I'm going to talk a little bit about foreshortening and how to get those um, kind of the viewpoints of that looking like something is coming towards you. We're going to talk about that. And then the second part to this video, I'm going to show you how to take one object or subject and add multiples of those. And so we're going to change it from a single wolf running to a whole pack of wolves running. So I hope that you will check that video out as well. Here I have a very quickly drawn um, wolf. And the reason I drew it really quickly is because I'm actually going to mark all over this. But I want to show you the different levels that go into this wolf. Now when we see him sideways, we see him all on kind of a flat level. His hips are going to be the same distance towards us as his head and his tail for the most part. Maybe just a very small um, a difference with that. But when you change his direction and you have him facing us, his head is going to be significantly closer to us than say his tail. So definitely there would be some layers. So what I think about when I'm drawing any kind of animal or person or any kind of item, object, whatever, coming towards me is I think about where can I, can I group those things together um, to create that level. So here his head would be the first level that I would see. And you can even break that down even farther as with his snout and the front of his head being those levels that are coming out towards me. Then his shoulders to the kind of the back of his shoulders where his uh, barrel or his stomach or chest cavity would be. Coming all the way back to here to where his hips would be and then finally back to where his tail would be. So all these things are cut into layers and levels that I would then begin to think about how I can draw those. This is where it kind of begins to break down a little bit as you begin to draw um, your creature, as in this case, our wolf, um, coming towards you. You're gonna think about each one of these things and how they push towards you. Now, another thing to think about is these legs. As these legs move and stretch forward, their level at the end of the paw may be brought forward. So you have to think about this. If this wolf is running and he's stretching out his paw forward in a run, his paw is at a whole new level, which now is going to be drawn a lot closer to us than say even the front of his shoulder because it's pulled forward. Okay, so everyone just take a deep breath. This is really confusing, but let me show you actually in action how I do this, and I think it might make a little bit more sense, hopefully. All right, so I want to draw a wolf running directly towards me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick one of my levels that I, I wanna start with. Usually, I start off with the head. So I'm gonna start off with my circle shape and get that the way I want it. And then I'm gonna think about the levels that are before this. And if we remember back, we had um, hit the beginning of his snout to the end of his snout. So I'm actually gonna draw in that shape of the end of his, where the snout meets the head, and then the tip of his snout right here. There's a little bit of a mouth there. Now right now I'm just blocking in my shapes. So now I want to put in the next level, which is going to be his, his shoulders or chest. So I'm just going to imagine what that would look like if I just took, forget about his head, see through that, and just get that shape drawn in there. All right, the next one I'm gonna think about, so I have his shoulders here. I might put in his legs just so I know where they're going. So I have this one that's kind of coming in and just towards us a little bit. So as it comes towards us, instead of tapering down, I'm actually gonna taper it up a little bit. It's gonna get a little bit bigger in comparison to if it was pulled back. So it's gonna bring it out towards me just a little bit. The second leg is gonna go in behind just a little bit. And this really isn't a video on the anatomy of how to draw a wolf. I have several videos of that as well, so you know where the different bends and the legs are. So I'm gonna put that paw down there, and you'll notice I'm not widening this one up like I did this first leg, because it's going back, so it's actually narrowing out a little bit. Then I'm gonna think about the barrel or the chest cavity of the wolf. I'll see just a little bit of that. 
but not very much. And then I'll see the hips just almost completely hidden behind the rest of the wolf. You just see just a little hint of that. Maybe just a little bit of the back leg right there. And then even just a little bit more of his back paw running. And I need to determine if I can see that other back leg where it would be. So maybe I might just have just a little bit of it right there. And then the last would be his tail. And as his tail's going away, it's getting smaller in size, so you might not even see hardly any of it. Now he looks a little weird without his ears. Let me put his ears in here. So I have him very just roughly sketched in, but using those levels and layers. This is the technique that after just practicing and practicing and practicing and trying all different kinds of ways to learn how to draw something coming towards you, this is the one that finally clicked. And I can't even remember uh, which artist I was, I was reading about who finally explained it in this way that I'm just like, I got it. But understand that I had tried several other different techniques and methods of teaching of artists and teachers trying to explain it to me um, before I found a method that worked for me. So while doing this method, if this doesn't make sense to you, don't get frustrated. There are so many ways that artists can explain and teach um, ways to draw things and ways to understand it. Because ultimately, as artists, we are seeing something that's three-dimensional in our heads. Um, that we can, you know, just the slightest move of our head changes something about it. And we're trying to interpret that onto a two-dimensional page. It's difficult. Um, so there's lots of ways to explain how to do it. A lot of methods to um, achieve that. Because each person learns differently, each person interprets differently, and each person um, applies the methods differently. And this is, this is a challenging concept, and I encourage you to first get comfortable with drawing um, the anatomy of a wolf or whatever animal or, or object subject you choose from a comfortable angle, from a side profile is usually the easiest, um, before you take on a challenging one. Because you really have to totally understand exactly how um, this creature is moving and put together and built so that you can get everything going in the right direction. Or what you will find will happen is that you're just going to get frustrated and you're going you're to stop. So um, please don't stop. Please just keep um, trying. Keep working at it. And, and you will. You will get it if you keep trying. If you found this tutorial helpful and encouraging, please let me know in the comment section below. If you found this a little bit um, challenging, uh, let me also know in the comment section below. And then I encourage you to check out some of my other videos. I do uh, videos for all different levels, uh, beginning artists, um, more intermediate artists, and then I also do things that just challenge myself and I hope will challenge other artists as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it challenged you to try something new or take a look at something from a different angle. And thank you guys. I, I wish I could remember all the different people that requested um, seeing uh, not just a wolf running, but uh, several people are asking for uh, different kinds of animals run in, in a, a direction that was not just profile. I tend to do a lot of profile uh, drawings. I had one of my viewers, and I don't remember if it was on my Facebook page or if it was in the comments on one of the videos, but asked if I would um, tackle a, teaching a drawing on how to draw something coming from a different angle rather than just a profile. And so if there is an animal that you would like to see how to draw, maybe you're not certain about, leave that in the comment section below. I try to do as many requests as I possibly can. Um, it's not always easy to do that. I get hundreds of requests each week and um, obviously I, I choose three drawings or three topics each week to do uh, tutorials on so as you can tell three out of a hundred means a lot of requests don't get done. What I generally try to do is pick the most popular requested topics and get those out first. So if there is something that you were like have been waiting and been requesting please 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 show me how to draw this um, and you haven't seen it come up yet and you're, and you're losing hope, don't lose hope. Just keep requesting it. The more you ask for it, um, the more chances that you will um, be able to see it. Yeah, don't give up. I, I read every single one of your comments. I try to comment back or reply back to as many questions as I possibly can 
but please do know that I do see your comments um, and I do appreciate them. I really do. And thank you again for watching this video. If you're interested in seeing the video on how to draw a wolf pack running, how to draw, add in now multiple wolves running in this pack, um, make sure to check out uh, that video when it's posted. And when it is, I will put a link boom, right there. You just click the center screen and it will take you right to it. Um, until then, God bless you guys and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.